I had always loved the idea of boats, and every time my cousin and I would see a little pond or a little lake, we'd always think about, oh, oh, if we only had a boat. And in fact, when I was like, I don't know, I guess I was eight or something, my grandmother had like four acres in Kentucky, and back behind her was this little pond, and we built a raft. My cousins and I built a raft. And we put this, it took us like two days, and we put all this weird wood that we found in the barn and everything together, and we drug it over to the edge of the pond, and we were ready to launch it, and we pushed it in, and it sank. So that was like my first experience with boating. Hi, I'm Sally Ruther from Annapolis Hybrid Marine. We're headed out into the Chesapeake Bay with Robin today. This is Energetic, our little electric boat. We're about ready to cast off. And all I have to do is take my line off, turn the key, the motor is running, and start the throttle. Annapolis Hybrid Marine is the name of our company, and um, we started that a year and a half ago, and it came about because we were looking for an electric motor for our boat. We took a 24-horse diesel out of this boat, which was really overpowered for this little boat. It's a 21-foot boat. Uh, we put in a 5-kilowatt motor, which runs off of a 48-volt bank of batteries. That's four 12-volt batteries wired together in series to make 48 volts. I like the idea of the fact that it's quiet, you know. But as we started learning more about this, I started learning more about what really happens with a diesel motor. And the fact that that exhaust that comes out your back end of your boat, that water exhaust, that's not just water coming out of there, that's unburnt fuel. So part of the reasons we got into this business with electric motors is because of our love for the water. And what we see happening every day here in the bay is the bay is getting dirtier and dirtier. This is a very dog-oriented community here in Eastport. And, and the problem is you can't let your dogs in the water here very, very often because they'll get sick. The water is so polluted that they can get skin irritations. That just amazed me. Here we are on a beautiful body of water and we can't use it. People can't swim in it. They can't go wading in it. And then we started you know, researching the history of the bay and finding out that it used to be so pristine and you know, when, when people first started uh, inhabiting the bay, when, we first, when they first started settling here, you could see 20 feet down, the water was so clear. Now you're lucky if you can see a foot down into the water. And that's all because of what we're, what we're doing as a community all over. It's runoff from people building and not paying attention to how they're building. They're paving everything so everything runs off into the bay. Uh, we no longer have a huge canopy of trees that filters everything. So the salinity in the bay is much less than it used to be. And that's caused a lot of uh, the species to leave the bay or to die off that used to be here because of the salinity in the water. It's not nearly as salty as it used to be. And of course the farms and everything that they put on those crops just so that we can have vegetables that don't go bad in a day. Um, not only is it bad for bodies, but it's bad for what runs off into the bay. So all of this is part of what we see day in and day out. And we see this dirty water and, and then we look across and see how beautiful it really could be. And what can we do about that? Right now, we're, we're more involved in getting the word out about electric propulsion and what it can do and how it can enhance being on the water and make it more enjoyable as well as make it cleaner. We learned so much when we were out cruising and living on our, on our boat about the ecosystem and about the people along the waterway. 
and how they live and how they make their living. And we came back with a real feeling of this is something that we have to cherish, that we have to keep, and we don't want this to go away. Thank you.